welcome back. My name is Leo and I'm a disaster. This is going to be the intro for a four part video uh, segment, I guess, uh, revolving Tokyo Disneyland Resort. It's going to be a part of a larger project that is following my experiences over in Japan when I took a trip in March of 2019. I want to break it down to Tokyo Disneyland, Disney Sea, what we purchased while visiting Tokyo Disneyland Resort. And lastly, I do want to talk about how is Tokyo Disneyland Resort for big people or as a lot of Disney people say, which I cringe at, but who sized people? the final video I have planned for my Tokyo Disneyland experiences. This one is going to be addressing the merchandise that we purchased. Now I do feel like there's quite a bit of merchandise around me so I'm going to be quick. The point of this video is to show you the unique products that we found while visiting the Tokyo Disneyland Resort. If you have questions about any of them specifically about how much maybe they cost, feel free to ask, leave me a comment. Do keep in mind a lot of the merchandise found in Tokyo Disneyland Resort is on a rotation so it's not there long. My biggest piece of advice that I'll probably say again at the end of this video is if you see something that you like while you're there, buy it. If it's a popcorn bucket or if it's going to be a, a souvenir, um, piece of clothing, etc. Just keep in mind, it's probably going to be gone if you don't purchase it then and there. First up, let's talk about popcorn buckets. Now this is a Steamboat Willie popcorn bucket. We found this in Toontown. Um, I believe somewhere on here. Ah, uh, yeah. It's kind of cute. Um, we open it up and on the inside, that's where your popcorn goes. Mickey's in the front. That doesn't move. But uh, this is Salvador's he purchased um, in Toontown. As I said, uh, if you see something you like, purchase it because it's probably not going to be at another cart. It might be another store, but I wouldn't bet on it. Make sure you buy it then and there. Another popcorn bucket that we were dying to get is this uh, Dumbo popcorn bucket. We have we saw this a few years ago. Um, Salvador's been to Tokyo Disneyland Resort three times now, and his first trip, which I think was four years ago, um, he saw this and he talked about this and. Oh, we've wanted this for so long. My best friend Erica, this is her purchase, and um, I just wanted to show you guys. There it is on the inside, on the front. I believe the ears even move. Oh, it's such a cute little popcorn bucket, and uh, we're getting ready to go back to Disneyland, and I know that she's going to bring this and really enjoy it. As I talked about my video where I discussed being a bigger person visiting Tokyo Disneyland Resort, I did buy some clothing. I am a 3L over in Japan. Um, here in the States, I range from a 2X to a 3X, depending on the length, as my height is found in my torso and not my legs. Also, what I recommend is buy these shirts first thing in the morning. They put out very limited quantities of the 2L and 3L, so make sure if you want to get some clothing from Tokyo Disneyland Resort, you do it in the morning. This shirt is, oh, let's see if I can get it, there it is. This shirt is a part of the Happy as a Rainbow series. If you were to take, um, if you had some friends also wearing the rest of the series, it forms one big rainbow. And um, it's a really cute shirt. It's quality's good. Um, I've already worn it once, and I'm going to wear this again soon when I go to Disneyland. Another shirt that we purchased is this one. It has many, many different faces of Mickey. Um, really cute. This is very uh, kawaii Japanese style, so we had to get it. But it's really uh, great quality as well, and it's another shirt that we enjoy. Tokyo Disneyland Resort is not big on Mickey ears. Instead, they opt for headband styles. This is Duffy ears. Um, this is Salvador's, and this was purchased in Tokyo Disney Sea. Uh, as I did share in that video where I talk about my experiences there, they are Duffy and friends obsessed. So he is too. We also got headbands. So this is Tigger ears. This is Salvador's, and the reason he got these is because I got some Winnie the Pooh ones. And again, you just wear it as a headband, um, really cute. And the reason I got this is because I got this, the Winnie the Pooh backpack. It does have a strap, um, so you can wear it as a messenger bag. You can wear it on the side, kind of as a purse. Um, it also has two handles, so you can carry it if you would like. Um, it does, I wear it myself. Um, I kind of wear it on my back um, with the strap covering my chest. Very, very cute bag. Um, so happy I got this. I almost didn't, but I got this so I can match with my ears. We also got these little bags. Um, on the back, you can put your, um, if you buy a one, two, three day pass, you could put it in there. Um, if you're an annual passport holder, you can put it in there as well. Um, you can open them up to put some coins. So we got the hamburger bag, which I also got that hamburger backpack. Which I'll bring that over here in a minute, but um, I bought this to match that. A Mickey and a Mr. Potato Head. I'm a big Toy Story fan. Now I got this keychain. I know it's kind of hard to see. 
Ugh, it's gonna be all blurry, but um, it's a little Mr. Potato Head with some popcorn uh, keychain, and I'm gonna put this on my Mr. Potato Head popcorn bucket that is from Tokyo Disneyland Resort as well. While visiting the Red Queen Cafe, we were able to buy some exclusive plates um, in the shape of a heart. Now these are hand washed. Do not put them in your dishwasher as I think it will destroy them. We also purchased this little tea set. Quite cute as well. And that's because it matches a tea set that Salvador bought, I think two or three years ago, the last time he had went. And I guess I wanted to show both of them to once again make the point that if you see something you like in Tokyo Disneyland Resort, you need to purchase it because it will probably be gone and it may not come back. Similar to Disneyland California and Disney World in Florida, uh, they sell little light up trinkets that you can have during the nighttime parades and uh, this is a little alien that one of our friends bought. This little guy is uh, to celebrate the 35th anniversary. It's a clock looking Mickey Mouse head. Um, on the back, I, you could have chosen designs, some were characters. Um, I chose to do a 35th anniversary celebration just to commemorate our time there. Ultimately, I'm gonna put this in a shadow box and I'm going to hang it up in our home. Uh, this was probably a little more um, expensive than many of the souvenirs I had intended to buy, but the uniqueness of it really outweighed the cost for me. All right, and let's wrap it up with two more items. We bought Duffy. Uh, this is Salvador's Duffy. We also purchased a Shelly Mae for our daughter, and then our friend has Gel Tony, which is the cat. This is Duffy in a sailor costume. Um, once again, Duffy, it, the story goes that Duffy was given to Mickey from Minnie um, to keep him company and such while he was on his travels and his adventures. So Duffy is meant to kind of be a, in a toy or um, an object that you take with you as you travel um, to sort of embark on that uh, experience that Mickey had. As a necklace, he's also wearing this note, uh, bottle with a note in it that Minnie wrote to Mickey. And lastly, probably my favorite purchase, my hamburger bag. My neighbors. My best friend and Salvador and I bought these and we're calling ourselves a hamburger crew now. Really adorable bag, um, similar to the poo bag, it has the one strap to where it can be worn as a messenger bag or a um, almost like a purse, and it also has the two handles. Um, I've seen some people configure it to where they can turn the two and you can wear it like a standard backpack as such. So really love this bag. Um, there's not a ton of room on the inside. There's enough um, what I call essentials that I can keep in it. So that's why I love to use it. But if you tend to carry a lot in a bag, this maybe wouldn't be the best purchase for you. So there's clothing, there's pins, there's candies, there's bags, there's so much over in Tokyo Disneyland Resort. Um, we, we purchased probably more than what I showed here today, but uh, I wanted to be quick in showing just a little bit of a taste as to what the merchandise could look like, what sort of unique styles they, they try and, and create over there. I'm excited to hopefully one day go back and experience it all over again, um, get some new experiences on top of that, and of course, buy some new stuff. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. If you have questions, let me know. Um, if you're trying to find a specific item from Tokyo Disneyland Resort, let me know. Um, I, we do have some friends who could maybe help us find it for you and get it to you if that's uh, something that you're really after. Thank you so much for watching this and have a great day.